All right, good morning. Brand new day. Uh, didn't get that cold last night, which is really nice. I think it might be because I'm lower in altitude and also further south. Um, but I'm uh, going to take a dirt bike out for a spin today. That's exciting. But for now, I'm just going to make some breakfast. definitely the best ride of my life <laughs> I know I I knew it was gonna be good I knew Utah I knew Moab was gonna be fantastic and everyone talks about it but it's just like this what I saw goes on forever uh, forever you could ride these trails the rest of your life and you'll never see them all <sighs> it's amazing I need a bigger gas tank <laughs> I just moved camp. I just uh, switched spots from one of the spots that I had scouted out when I was motorbiking earlier. And oh my God, this is the best camping spot I have had the entirety of van dwelling. Freaking awesome. I got snow cap mountains over here. I have Red Castle rocks over there. I got this big hill right here, right next to me, Boulder Hill. And I got a little fire pit and perfectly smooth, perfectly flat land to park on and nobody for miles. Can't ask for more. 
Champ's even got a stick. I mean, does it get any better? Does it get any better than that, Champ? It's impossible to keep him clean winter in the deserts. He's just so dirty all the time. So dirty. Ugh. Yeah, you're not sleeping in the bed tonight. Watch out for the prickle bushes. You're crazy. Uh, the van's a little dirty though. All right, did a little house cleaning. Set up camp, we're all good. Everything's ready. But uh, still got some daylight, so. Champ, you wanna go climb that mountain? Here you go, buddy, let's go climb it. Uh, I'm no mountain climber, but uh, it's not really a mountain. This is kind of a hill next door, a size comparison. The van, hill, not too bad. I think we'll take up the uh, shallow ascent. <laughs> Just wanna see the whole valley from up there because my drone's still down. Labrador retrievers originally were supposed to be that, retrievers, They're supposed to be hunting dogs. Champ doesn't see anything. Past wild animals all the time and he never sees them. Rabbits in between the rocks there. Champ doesn't see any of them though. It's insane. This is so cool. I feel like I'm on another planet. Oh my god. Crazy. There's home. <laughs> You're making me so nervous. The more I sit up here, the more I'm noticing. Um, first of all, if you look really closely at some of these rocks, you notice that there's coral on them. But we're in the middle of the desert and on top of a mountain. But yes, this used to be an ocean bed. And if you look carefully, you can see evidence of that. And then you take that information and you look out and you're like, wow, yeah, I could see it. All of this would have been filled in with rock and sand and dirt. And then as the sea pulls away, it leaves behind rivers and these rivers cut into it. First wide and then shallower and shallower until you're left with these little bits of peaks where the seafloor used to be and the erosion has eaten away everything else. So right on the top of these mountains, like this little rock formation here, you get to see it. All this, it looks almost volcanic, but it's actually coral. It's crazy. It's moments like this, where I not only feel tiny and insignificant in the scope of the universe, but also in time. Like, the earth I'm standing on has been here for millions and millions of years. And I am but a, like a tiny speck in time. That's crazy. It just, it's humbling beyond belief. Check out this one. I could be mistaken, but doesn't this look like a tree that's fallen over and then fossilized itself? Like even the rock is breaking up into the like bits of wood almost. That's not wood, not anymore. Yo, check out all this green stuff. Do you know what this is? It's copper in this sand. It oxidizes and turns green. Isn't that cool? For dinner tonight, we are having burritos. This is the main sauce here for the burritos. It's chili with uh, black beans and chickpeas and fresh jalapeno slices. Pretty good. I'm out of cheese, but I'm gonna put them in tortilla bread, put some fresh tomatoes on top, should be good. And there you go. Some nice burritos.